with Bunnery's powerful ears. Is the Pokemon biology similar to our real life animal biology? Welcome back to Shelby on Safari, the place where I, a wild animal biologist and Pokemon trainer, often combine my passions into one. Today, we're gonna explore the world of Bunnery's ears and see, are our real life Pokemon like Bunnery? So you ready? Join the Safari and let's get started. Bunnery's Pokedex entries state that its ears are always rolled up and that they can be forcefully extended to shatter even a boulder. But the biggest giveaway is that when it senses danger, it perks up its ears. Our real life Pokemon of rabbits also rely on their hearing to detect potential predators. Their sense of hearing is, well, definitely far better than ours. Rabbits have an impressive hearing range, far beyond that of what we can do. Rabbits hear between the ranges of 96 to 49,000 hertz. Whereas us humans, it's mere 64 to 23,000 hertz. They leave us in the dust. It should come as no surprise then that their hearing is so sensitive that they can pick up on the ultrasonic sounds of bats. But what I appreciate that the Pokemon company did with its design of Bunyari is showcase that rabbits can move their ears independently of each other. Yeah, maybe not to unleash a strike that can destroy a boulder, but they can move their ears independently to detect two different noises at the same time. That's right, each ear can move independently. They have a dish-shaped pinna, which is the external ear, which funnels sound into the ear canal, kind of like a satellite dish, especially since they can swivel their ears up to 270 degrees. Yet their ears are also large for helping with something a bit different, dealing with real life fire type moves. That's right, their large ears help them to dispel heat to help them keep cool. Kind of like how Fennekin and the Fennec Fox have big ears to help them with this. However, I should note that rabbits in the colder climates have smaller ears so they don't lose too much heat. Luckily, the air tends to be denser in these areas, and so sound travels farther, allowing them to not rely on having such large ears. So what do you think? Aren't rabbits' ears amazing? Let me know down in the comments below if you would like to have such impressive hearing. I don't know if I would. I already hear enough of Maui crying for his breakfast at really early times in the morning nowadays. For more Pokemon animal comparisons, be sure to click on my playlist here. Go on, click it. I'll see you over there. Thanks so much for watching.